not only did we win best CS, we also won best new CS. So it was like a double whammy. So of course we're thrilled. We're loving every minute of it. And to have that, it's just a crowning glory, really. I'm Jacqueline Paris, and um, we are in Little Grimsby, which is a hamlet just outside of Louth. After encouragement from some friends that come and camp quite regularly, we decided to set up our own campsite. We wanted a site that we would want to stay on ourselves, you know, and at the end of the day, this is an extension of our home. So I wanted to try and make it the best I could make it, which involves five hard standing pitches, which are, which are bigger than the recommended size, with large grass areas in between, again, bigger than the recommended size. Each pitch has its own dedicated um, electric hookup and water supply. And each of the pictures are named after one of the wild creatures that you can actually see here. So I've developed the hub, which is the building you see behind, just so that it's a point of contact. You know, um, it's full up with leaflets, places to go, pl things to do. And of course, it's the place that my plaque will hold pride of place for best CS. When we started last year, which really wasn't a very good year for anybody to start a campsite. <laughs> but having said that, we still had visitors in between the lockdowns and a lot of those visitors have come back a second time. We've also had a lot of advice from members and we've taken some of that advice on. When members turn up at the site, very often the first reaction when they drive through the first gate is, wow, what a fantastic view or wow, what a lovely site. So we're sitting nicely in the foothills of the Lincolnshire Wolds here and from the campsite you can see a point which is called Fotherby Top. It is marvellous walking country. If you come with your dog, the dog's going to appreciate it obviously. We're very much attracting people that want to hike and walk um, and enjoy the countryside, bird watchers etc. And if you want the bucket and spade and the ice creams and the pedalos, etc., the fun fair, there are a lot of beaches to choose from here. My favourite beach to visit here would be the one at Saltfleet. It's one that's little known to visitors because most people migrate towards Skegness or Theddlethorpe or, you know, along that part of the coast. But if you come slightly north along the coast, you'll find Saltfleet. It's a lovely sandy beach and it's just a, a beautiful setting. Louth is the local town to here. Louth is actually a market town and it's known as the capital of the Wolds and it is utterly beautiful. It's very bohemian and there's lots of cafes, ice cream parlours, antique shops, very well known in the area for antique shops. There's a general market three times a week that's held on a Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Donna Nook is also easily reached, you know, that's probably a 25 minute drive. It is well worth a visit if you're into seeing wildlife in its natural environment. If you want to see the pups, you're looking at September, October time. I've had people book specifically to go and look at the pups. If you're into National Trust properties and visiting stately homes, etc., or gardens, there's plenty to see from here, easy driving distance, to include Tattershall Castle, which is at Woodall Spa, which is a beautiful attraction. There is also Lincoln Cathedral, of course, which is a very well-known place, and, and Lincoln itself is worth visiting. We've also got Coningsby, which has a visitor centre, which is a marvellous place, and they have a lot of visiting air crews from places like as far away as Canada that are stationed there and are flying out from that site. So it's a good place to go. The visitors that we get are members, obviously, and they appreciate Hare's Leap particularly because they say it's such a lovely place to be and I, I think, you know, they respect that and, and I respect the fact that they've chosen us to come and visit.